Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today we're doing some maintenance on the 240. I'm gonna do a full coolant flush. I have not done that since I got the car. And if you guys remember one of my previous vlogs that I took the 240 out on its first official drive, I did come back and the coolant was super gunky and dirty. I should have done this when I got the car, but I didn't. But at least we're here today. I'm also gonna be putting on this air filter. It's just an OEM replacement. Um, it doesn't have one so I waited way too long to start this but it's just been so hot I feel like I've been kind of MIA on YouTube. I just posted a vlog today I haven't really been touching the cars. I've just been really busy and I just started new work So I've just been adjusting to everything and figuring out a new routine basically But I'm back and I'm excited to start working on this thing order some new fuel injectors So I have those already so that is going to be in the next video after this one Hopefully or like in the next two videos but I wanted to do this before the fuel injectors just in case the car doesn't turn back on at least I did this you know and I can live comfortably that the coolant is good and then after my fuel injectors I'm finally going to start this manual swab I've had the transmission for months I'm just missing a couple things that I'm gonna buy soon so after I change out the fuel injectors and do this I am finally going to be doing this manual swab I'm kind of dreading it because I'm no mechanic so I'm just gonna attempt to do it on my own and see how far I can get <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. I believe the 240 takes 7.1 liters, so I just got two. We'll just see. And then I also got, I got this cooling system cleaner just to take out more gunk out of whatever's in there because it's obviously not clean. To be my three essentials. Just in case, do not do this while the car is hot. If you just drove it, or anything do not do this because if you try to open your radiator cap that thing could explode in your face with hot coolant and no 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 you touch the hose and see if it's cooled down if it's not hot at all then you could open it okay now my front bumper is coming off the only thing that was holding this was a zip tie other than the front brackets right there so now i have to figure this out but that might be a later problem i have the car jacked up um i'm just gonna slide under here god there's always so many bugs under here Okay, it's literally right there. Okay, I'm just laying on the floor now, which is really gross because I know there's a lot of bugs under this freaking car, but it's fine. I'm trying to read if I need to add this. This claims to remove built up gunk, grime, corrosion, and rust. I forgot, but you are going to need distilled water because regular water could create rust and we don't want that. But if the previous owner did use regular water, this hopefully will help. Drain the cooling system, then pour contents, contents into the cooling system and fill with water. Run engine for 10 minutes. Run engine for three to six hours? Oh, that's for heavy duty cleaning. I think my car does need heavy duty cleaning, but I don't got time to run the car for three to six hours. I'll do this after I drain this. That was a whole lot of reading for nothing. Well, not for nothing, but you know what I mean. Your drain plug, it is on the driver's side. Probably will have a skid plate, but I do not have one. And those are just held on by 10 millimeters. So yeah, you're going to look for this. It's this little plastic screw thing and this does have plastic threads, so do not ruin that. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this by hand. Wait, I hope I don't freaking break this. Oh. Oh, that literally was not on hard at all. A little pan. I just didn't freaking squirt everywhere. Great. I am going to fill this. Oh, that looks like dark pee. <laughs> I'm gonna fill this just to show you guys. Sounds like I'm on a tropical vacation. Sounds like I'm at a spa and this is like the rain noises, the forest rain sound. That thing is pretty brown. I should be green. I believe so I'm going to see on the second flush how it comes out hopefully it doesn't take too many tries but I'm just gonna keep going until it starts running clear and I'll show you guys how many tries it took also ignore my mess this is like my throw corner so everything just kind of <laughs> goes over here oh since this is basically related this is an OEM replacement water reservoir from GK tech I bought it a couple months ago I believe and I've had it on we do have old gunky coolant obviously when I get that out but I'm just gonna take off the whole reservoir and just dump it out but if you don't want to do that this hose follow it and it's gonna be connected to your radiator and you just want to take off this little clip you could use some pliers and then take this 
maneuver it downward somehow to your little parent but to get it to suction out somehow I'm just gonna take off this whole thing and just dump it out also I got a new battery my other one was no bueno no more Water as well. It is 9 p.m. and it is so hot in here still. I hate summer. I hate the heat. And I'll remind everyone a thousand million times every time that it's hot that it is hot. You know this with some water. Oh gosh. I could use a funnel for this instead. So it is filled into the top. I poured in this whole thing and then just filled it to the top with water. And I probably could use more, but the car isn't on and there's probably some air in there. I'm in the car and let it circulate and clean out. I never get through here. Also, run the heater. You wanna turn on the heater? So that all that heat starts circulating in there. Oh my God. I turned it on and I think there was dust in there and it like landed in my eye. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let it run for like 10 minutes. So let's put a slime on. Also, you wanna keep an eye on your temp gauge, make sure it's not overheating. So far, so good. I let it cool for a little bit. Now I'm gonna go round two. Hopefully this isn't hot. This is going to be our second flush. And it had the cleaner in it. Oh my goodness, it's making, it's like <laughs> running down my arm. Oh God. Yeah, it's because I hadn't ran the car for a while. That's too much. This is literally darker, I think. This was the first one. I hadn't driven the car here in maybe two weeks. With that, this is running the car. It's dirtier because of the little cleaning thing that I put in there. Really taking out all that gunk. Which is good, because you can kind of see that it's working, I guess. Round three. Put the plug back in and I'm gonna add water and then run it again and basically do the steps all over again. This is flush number three. Let's we'll see how it comes out this time. I'm going to undo the radiator cap. I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot of times. So. Free apple juice or chocolate milk, anyone? Okay, here goes for number four. Oh my goodness, it is coming out so brown still. Here we go. Flush number five. Oh, you can't even see. We're literally going to be out here all night. Some clips. Clips out, out. I forgot where I bought this from, but it is the Denso air filter. Okay, that literally took 
two seconds. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my little cup collection down there. I did the entire process like seven or eight times and the color is not changing, but it is also not taking the full amount that it needs. I'm only taking like half of it even after I run it. So I'm just gonna be pouring water straight through it and letting it leak down without covering it and then running the car. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. This is my third gallon, just letting it run through. Um, I ran out of distilled water because of how many times I've had to do this. So I'm just filling it up with regular water because it's too much. I would honestly say just take your hose and put it in. Like if it is not getting any clearer every single time you're doing it. The only reason why I don't just get my hose right now, one of my dad's cars is behind me and he is not home. The 240 is on the jack stands and I just don't want to take it off and be outside. It's like 11 p.m. It's 11.40 p.m. right now, so like I just don't want to be outside, you know? So I'm just going to keep flushing it and dumping it out. That's just a little update. I made such a mess of all the water that I'm spilling on everything. Okay, I mean it's running more clear doing that, but still. I think I'm going to plug it in now. I'm going to try it one more time. Running the car. This is literally the 10th, 11th time doing this. It's so annoying. Okay, this is the last time I'm doing it before I stop because I'm over it. <laughs> I mean, this was the point of the video was to show how to do it. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, doesn't look as bad, but mm, still brown. This is my first time doing a coolant flush and as much as I want to stick with the distilled water, you can obviously see it is getting lighter. So I think I'm gonna keep going one more time. I think I might start early tomorrow before I have to go into work and just finish and knock it out. I probably won't film just because it's literally going to be the same process. At the end, you just fill up with your antifreeze. This one is 7.1, I believe. So I'm just gonna fill it to that and then run it and then dip out tomorrow. But this step isn't really important. It's literally just filling it up the same way I was putting in the water, but just with no water. Since this is already 50-50, do get up the straight concentrate, then you will have to dilute it with water. So just read the bottle you got. But I'm just gonna fill this up tomorrow morning then. Maybe take it on a drive if I have time. But I just wanna knock it out ASAP. It literally took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like I said, I think I could have saved a lot more time if I just went outside and got the hose and literally just stuck the hose in there and just let it run. Let it run, let the water drip out on the driveway and call it a day. But I did it a little more complicated. I kept having to fill up my gallons with water and yeah, not really the way I wanted it to go. It is okay, I learned and now I know if I ever need to do this again to just use the hose because it's going to save me a lot of time so it is midnight now and I still have to get all my stuff ready for tomorrow and for my week I'm just gonna go and do that now and just end the video here because like I said I already got to the points that I wanted to get to basically and now it's just filling this up accordingly to what your car takes and running it and obviously keeping an eye on the temp gauge making sure it doesn't spike up but yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next few videos are going to be on the 240. And the manual transmission swap is going to be coming very, very soon. So I'm so excited. Um, it's going to be a bigger project. But that's what this car is for. So I'm so excited. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.